you're new here, I'm Kanitia, and if you're already watching this channel, welcome back. Today we are going to watch 16th episode of Durarara. And when I was lighting this candle, I burned my finger. <laughs> so now it hurts like hell and I can't wait to start the episode. So it distracts me <laughs> from that burn. So let's watch this episode. Let's go. All right. Yes, of course, we start with the opening. Let's see. Again, look through all the characters and through the little scene that we are going to have somewhere inside the opening. Again, we had ended previous episode kind of like on a cliffhanger. And I'm really happy that in this arc we are going deeper inside the slasher lore, slasher story. And yeah, I'm still curious about Saki as well. But I think, yeah, we are kind of fully concentrated on slasher and that journalist with his daughter and maybe also the creep teacher is going to interact with the story more as he definitely has a connection to Haruna as he harassed her and he had a strong emotional reaction to the mention of her name and Kida seems like knows something about it knows it very well yeah started six months ago. And the way he was saying, I love you very much, Shizu, yeah, it seemed like not his words, but the words of that Saika or his daughter, this uh, uh, slasher, let's say slasher, okay, um, who is interested in Shizu because Shizu seems to be the strongest person in this place. And so... As, as we established from the message boards, I think. Oh, that feels kind of nice. The window is cold. Whew. Okay, he's still going crazy. Just, just in place. Just not moving at all. Just <laughs> standing there like this. Dude. Well, I already said I feel bad for him. Oof. <gasps> Do you even survive something like this? I'm not sure. That's what you're worried about? <laughs> mm -hmm. But it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was an interesting reflection of Andre and how... Hmm. Going around showing everyone her headlessness. <laughs> I guess it also shows she's more comfortable with that now. I mean, silt with not having a head. Hmm? Who's there? That's her, Nikawa Haruna. She came herself. She does look like a slash slasher, right? Right? Mutual love. Why is she interested in Andre? Like, it, when we saw Slasher the first time as this kind of silhouette, when she attacked Celti, she looked exactly like this. Yeah, that's totally her. <laughs> that, that's a nice face. Does she ship them? Yeah, <laughs> she does. <laughs> That's classic shipping some a pair that doesn't get along. 
Mm -hmm. Ah, the knife. But it doesn't look like a sword, though. Hmm. I, I, uh, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> Yeah, but Haruna's eyes also looked strange and red. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting... <laughs> um, interesting view. Love them by slashing them? Yeah, her, her eyes are not all right. It's like Yandere crazy love, you know? <laughs> she does look like Yandere. Is that his name? I only have a surname written down. That creep teacher? So he like, successfully groomed her, but then... Then discarded her. And she felt hurt. Well, you know. Slashing! Because <laughs> mm. that's like the only thing it could do to connect to them in a physical way. Well, go slash him. Go. Let's do this. So does she feel jealous now? Because he harasses Andre? He doesn't like her. He just... A creep. Poor Henry, double harassment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, she did it like as I discussed. Oh, she's so creepy! <laughs> yeah, as I said, that was his daughter. She's like, remember, this is anime, manga? Manga at school days, I think? Yeah, she's like one of the girls from there. <laughs> No, you have to be stabbed by it, maybe, or you have to be stabbed by Haruna herself. It doesn't me matter with what, you just... Mm. Makes sense. The handle is a bit strange, but I guess that's normal, maybe, for their knives. So it's kind of like inside Haruna or possesses Haruna.
Yeah, yeah, you, you can take them. Him. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. I failed, my sister was... So, like, a lot of people are being possessed now by this. Like a zombie epidemic. Yeah, it looks like all the characters in this anime have very twisted views on love. <laughs> Including Saika, the most twisted. Yeah, so maybe it means that Karuna is just one of the victims that are possessed. There are a lot of them. Mm -hmm. My city, I like how he says it. Oh, I think he's right with his accusation. That's rude. Psychophone. That's an interesting word. Um, that didn't happen. So she suspects her? She thinks she killed her parents? Ah, no, she thinks that she made eyes at the burglar, okay? <laughs> I wonder how do you get her rid of that spirit inside of her? She's definitely not okay also because of that. That is true. I think it's more like about not having freedom if you depend on others too much. Just say he's a horrible creep, he harasses me all the time, I hate him. <laughs> She's gonna attack her anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> nice plan. Who would that be? One of the boys, like Kido or Ryu, or someone else, checking on her? So these are just like all the people who are possessed writing in the chat now, like, hmm. The sword is writing with its tip. He's not dumb. That's rude.
The hate is mutual. <laughs> oh, that's the teacher. Gosh, he came here. What a complete creep. Holy shit, he even came to her. Slash him. Well, at least she scared the creep away. Thanks, girl. <laughs> okay, bye. Mm -hmm, something important. Okay, so yeah, her goal was also like to kill Anri. <gasps> Gosh, they just didn't even have time to close the entrance door. They just... Holy shit, they a lot... How does she even get out of this? They already cornered her. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Anri can't catch a break. Wait, they're all into Shizu? Yeah, so they all have, like, thoughts of Saika. Yeah, and there's also some other plan. Original Saika. Mm-hmm. Well, I just thought Haruna is original Saika, though I could be wrong. Yeah, so they also survived, but became psychos. Well, they look cool with red eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess... If Haruna is the main psycho, she is like the mother. This went in a direction that I didn't expect, like, at all. I thought that would be still, like, ju just one slasher. I didn't expect, like, a zombie epidemic. <laughs> and, yeah, it shows that all the people who were slashed weren't, like, killed, but infested. Mm -hmm. To possess it? To multiply even more. <gasps> so he can slash a lot of people. Wait, that's rude. His brother loves him. Celta loves him as a friend, I'm sure. But I admit that was pretty funny. <laughs> But someone is impressed with it. Well, Celti was also impressed by it. Or, like, I'm happy that I'm so strong so I can defeat all of them? You all are not my type. <laughs> That's a rejection, I guess. That's a code for rejection. Mm. So that girl was right about boys' love. <laughs> the hate is code for love. <laughs> yeah. Five years ago, That's yeah, like, what was happening for five years then? What it was waiting for? Being bought from antique shop? For money? Poor girl. Yeah, love him very hard with your knife multiple times. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so Saika chose like a good uh, victim, so to say. Giving her blood to Saika? What? Why would you stop her? Go. After that one. After that one, you can stop. <laughs> Again? Oh, they didn't show us. She was cornered last time we saw her. Like her parents, for example? Mm -hmm. Yeah. To control the human race, okay. To like have it. Is her arm made from steel? The sound was. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was what her flashback was. So she had it all the time. <laughs> yeah, so remember the first time uh, when uh, she was attacked by Gyaru and I had that crazy thought that maybe she turns out to be the slasher and kind of well, fights back that way. And uh, then I thought, no, that's kind of crazy thought. And then we got that uh, Haruna. Uh, so by that time, I already forgot any ideas about Anri. But now, and it's not like she was cornered and also infested. It seems like because she also has the, that sword, uh, the original sword, she says, it seems like she is the main slasher and the one who kind of created all of this uh, so that crazy moment theory was actually right but that is a, a twist that is unexpected because honestly that is pretty crazy Andre is a very interesting character and so the first incident with her parents was also because of the i'm just looking for that moment was also because of that blade maybe that blade came into her family's possession and that's when it um, possessed her parents i think so that woman with red eyes was her mom i think let's see ever since that day five years ago i've been too scared to love anyone we see her really scared we see i think that's her mom wielding a sword and then I think the next one was just, yeah, her parents murdered. So, wait, suppose her mom took the sword and slashed the dead, and then the dead also slashed someone, but since they were using the original sword and, like, really went into it, they murdered each other, because it seems like right now, 
the slasher, uh, the slashers, how Henry controls them, just hurt each other, but like not to murder, and then through that infest with the spirit of Psyche. So the actual mother is actually Henry. She's the one who has the main spirit of the sword that is a cool moment where she takes it out of her hand and it's also like i i said also as a crazy theory like oh maybe the sword is inside haruna and i was like no <laughs> but it actually is inside Andre. she just took it out of her hand so after her parents killed each other she maybe as a kid also, as a psycho does as a sword, interpreted it to kind of save herself psychologically as an act of love, to explain that, no, my parents love each other so much, uh, so they slashed each other, you know? And so that's why now the love is being expressed like this. And again, like, the views, the views on love are so crazy. I understand, like, this is completely deranged. Uh, but also... It feels like in their conversation, they're like, what do they mean by love then? If Haruna thinks it's only romantical, for the sword, I think it's more like in general love for the people and kind of wants to possess them and have and control them because it loves them so much. But in my opinion, love, it can take so many different f uh, forms. Like you love your friend, you love your parents, you love your pet, uh, like... It can be like many, many different types of love, and I'm sure she did uh, love her parents, for example, even though here she, she says, like, yeah, you are right, I can't love anybody. I'm still sad she saved that trash teacher. It's interesting, there's like um, a little damage on the tip of the sword, I think. I rely on Saika to love people for me. No. I live by feeding off it. <laughs> That's very interesting. I guess, again, then she hmm, admitted she's kind of like a parasite. And I think that goes along well with this line. Because as a parasite, you feed off someone. So maybe also because she feels lonely as well. She lost her parents. Uh, she kind of feeds off that love so to say to kind of sustain herself maybe <laughs> so that is pretty crazy <laughs> yeah anyway we got like some answers now that that incident that happened five years ago right when the sword disappeared uh, that's when because of the sword parents of Henri died and then she kind of in, in ingested the sword inside herself and that's how she became kind of like one with the sword she became that mother um and then slowly she started possessing people so it's interesting then where does isaiah come in because it was implied that he kind of was the instigator of this incident uh, so could he like five years ago somehow uh, transfer that sword to the hands of a family that could like start this cycle or why in the five years not everyone in this damn city are slashers it looks like only recently Henri was going like more and more on um uh, uh, I don't know, on their all creating these uh, new slashers, and it just recently uh, became an epidemic, so maybe we could assume there was a push from someone that it is the right time that you can do it, and maybe how you do it, etc. Uh, so I guess that is pretty interesting, and also uh, that creep teacher, Nasujima, uh, looks like he didn't own like groom uh, Haruna because he was uh, sexually attracted to her um, just because he's a creep he also kind of made money using her and her and then discarded her that was like I don't know like it's hard to go but he he did he did go even worse than I initially thought he did manage to do it congrats uh, but um, it looks like uh, she was um, 
as she fell in love with him well as she thinks because she was so successfully groomed in the beginning and uh, she became again kind of obsessed with him um yandere style and obviously because she thinks she's in love he with him she doesn't want to like cut him but because the sword influences her and kind of told her well, maybe maybe that would be a good idea like do a few slashes and yeah like but then andre says like stop it stop cutting people so it makes me think maybe andre was like the initial mother and slasher but then somehow haruna overtook this role or something like that because uh, Henri is trying to stop her so that is pretty interesting but also Henri being the main slasher um would kind of tie in with the fact that she was saved from this gyaro when they were attacking her so if she could somehow control like other slashers she could like, mentally call someone for help and then here when they cornered her in the room as well as she's the main mother actually it was probably also easier for her to actually control them would that mean that she would also be able to control Haruna or did she kind of get some uh, somewhere closer to Andre's level somehow there are still some questions with all of this um but I guess we'll see what happens in the next episode uh, that would be it for today my finger still hurts I can I have these uh, long matchsticks and also a lighter so I lighted a matchstick with a lighter uh, because this thingy for the matchsticks itself it's, it doesn't where is it it doesn't really work well to be honest and then the fire became so huge when I was doing it and that it burned my finger that was pretty unfortunate but I guess at least we got to enjoy this candle a bit. It's a scent of firewood fix. Very pretty. You can enjoy it now. So my suffering wasn't in vain, I think. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah th that would be it for this episode. Uh, we'll see what happens next and then maybe have some new theories and conclusions. I'll go put my finger under cold water now. I'm not sure, maybe it's too late. <laughs> But yeah, that would be it for today. So please share your thoughts in the comments down below without spoilers, of course. Thank you for watching and see ya. Mm -hmm.